everyone and welcome back to Fate, the Rise of Madness. This is session 37, do do? Contracts and Contraband, back part back. 3. Back in the <coughs> section where they have like the rooms. <coughs> we have one brand new player. We're also running up to spellcasters. Uh, who, he'll be playing Ryland, the warlock, human warlock. Right. Okay. His name is Alex. Say hello. Hola. You may remember him from the old Chaos campaign. I was the really sexy one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll a deception check. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I was the excessively sexy one. Fine, I was trying to be modest. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, and, of course, it's pretty, pretty good deception uh, roll. we have everyone. Everyone else will, will be <laughs> late. Oh, it is. Yeah, I believe him. <laughs> I'm like, wow. I remember that guy. And Bob has been out for a handful of sessions, uh, so he's a bit confused. So we're going to back up a little bit and talk about what has happened in the relatively recent past, and then we'll jump straight in. Cool. We got an airship. I was here for that one. Okay. <laughs> we got an. Oh, yeah. that's right. That's right. You you kept yeah. getting dragged off by the, the invisible uh, <clears throat> devils or demons oh, or whatever. Yeah, harpy things. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, kind of fiend. So, I believe that the last thing that happened before Bob was out was the group arrived at the Hinge of the Ancients and saw a figure in full black plate metal uh, standing guard around the Cult of Madness tent. After that, the group uh, came, sort of snuck around and looked in all the tents and then attacked his uh, nemesis Damakos, the tiefling, and of course, a great big battle broke out. <clears throat> Domico's oh. escaped again. Almost got him this time. Was so close. You never yeah. had him. You never so had your close. car. <laughs> Put three arrows, in, dude. <clears throat> uh, did 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 very well. Killed the knight. Uh, upon removing the knight's helmet, discovered that it was in fact Frigg. Wolfheart, the twin sister of Finn Wolfheart, Eli's barbarian character, who has who left the party a little bit ago, a couple weeks ago, I think, like in in game a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> he looted all of the tents, finding a huge amount of the stolen Koraki money, a little more than half. Uh, totaling a little over seven and a half million white drakka, or gold, or, or gold pieces, if you prefer, uh, is a lot. <clears throat> a whole lot of money. Would you just call me? And, of course, there was also discovered a vial, or rather a uh, sort of briefcase-sized chest containing vials of blood. One of those being Krishna's. And that's it. We haven't... Uh, you don't have... Quetzal. Quetzals yet. Damn it. I almost said Imsh, but I did not. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, man. Uh, it's been long enough I shouldn't be doing that. Anyway. Old habits die hard. Indeed. Uh, you brought... The, oh, right. Uh, in order to get into the chest full of the money, Clank uh, sort of triggered the lock, which pulled his consciousness into a demiplane wherein dwelled Shogoth, the Devourer, the leader of the Cult of Madness. Uh, the true leader of the Cult of Madness. He, uh, he was answered, not a good guy. He answered, Bob. no. <laughs> no, that's true. He answered a handful of questions, which 
ended up with him having some long-term madness that lasted about five in-game days, uh, four and some change, I think, really, uh, which almost set you too far behind to get Frigg uh, resurrected. And that's what you did. You did manage to make it with like a day to spare within the 10 day window of Ray's dead. You made it. She was resurrected and she provided you with a lot of useful information concerning some of Damakos' plans. And the individual who he works for called the uh, being called the Chaostician, a warlock of terrible power who serves Shogoth. That uh, his, his real name isn't isn't <laughs> no no his real name is not Ryland no uh, that'd be awkward yeah Ryland <laughs> does not yet possess terrible power he has power but it's not terrible yet. Give him time. 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> Working uh, on it. You found out a few of Damakos' plans. Uh, you know that the Cult of Madness has Krishna's older brother who was undergoing a similar kind of uh, reinstitution like she did which was consisting largely of lots of torture and the like. Cain ha Cain's business as it was already done in that his father was killed. Uh, you already also just recently dealt with Finns because that was Frigg. Uh, Clank is unclear as to what that one was only she, she only knew that it involved some kind of necromancy another question no that was that that was a that uh, quetzal's quetzal's the, the, the sort of plan against quetzal involved dalen and arla hartman his adoptive human parents uh who live, if I recall correctly, on uh, in City on the Lake, on the east, I'm sorry, on the west coast of Kaidaran. Don't know what that's about just yet, but we'll see. And of course, Harriet's is no longer currently relevant, but might become relevant again later. Because Melanie's not playing at this very moment. Okay, now... After that, the group gets in their flying ship and returns to Adosia, where Cain's family lives to return the money. You spoke with Violet, the halfling uh, receptionist, and most of you went to have the meeting. Cain, however, went down to the docks to uh, brood. Went down to the docks to brood, and where we ended it was Cain uh, was about to, when he was in the process of doing the brooding Batman thing, and he heard a noise, and it turned out it was that my it was Althea, Cain's uh, sister. And also made fun of her sneaking skin. Uh, and that is where <coughs> that's where we begin. All right. In <coughs> the warehouse, one of the warehouses at the dock, looking out on the ocean, uh, Althea moves to sit down and sort of pats on the ground or the floor rather next to her 
for Cain to do the same. Uh, for Alex's benefit, Cain is more of a moniker uh, for what he for what he does as an assassin. His real name is Hector. Hector Karaki. Okay. So, <laughs> do you, Kane, do you sit down next to your sister? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> she reaches into her, like, one of her uh, pockets... And she hands you a small, we'll say photo, because why not? There's technology and magic. There should be some means of making photography, so sure. sure. A small photo of you and the rest of the family when everyone, when, when you were younger kids. You, of course, looked a little sicklier then than you do now. <coughs> Oh yeah, probably like skin and bones, pale, like paler than actual me. Yeah. And she has a uh, serious and contemplative look upon her face. And she says, most, most people don't take me seriously because I seem carefree and flighty because I'm the youngest of a big rich family and I have the least to do but you've always seen through that seen the truth of the world that death must come for us all and to us all and you you use that knowledge for bettering yourself because you understand death and have used death to better the world your work has value outside of just killing those who need killing you bring peace through your actions. You must use the in-between moments, the time outside of the service of death, to find your joy, whether that is through someone or something, a hobby, a pet, whatever makes you happy. Our Father would not want you to sulk in the false belief that you alone are responsible for his death. You survive through maintaining your forward momentum through life, just as we all do. Leto dives too deeply into her work. Orion trains the guard until he can barely move from exhaustion. Mother, who I'm sure does not know I know this, drinks just to get to sleep. They all blame themselves for not knowing Damakos had become our uncle, to have fallen into the blind belief that he had our father's health in mind when he hid the notes in the ancient book. The only one to blame for Dad's death is Damakos. Not Mom, not Leto, not Orion, and certainly not you. Not Quetzal, because he found the notes in the book. She places a hand <laughs> gently on, on your shoulder. <laughs> no one blames you but you, Hector. Time was against us, and we had no way of knowing what would happen. We all love you and appreciate that you were trying to help. We like you, uh, angry tears begin to roll down her face, have been pouring funds into finding Domikos, and once we find him, you will get the final strike. And then all of this will be behind us, and hopefully some of us can move on. I almost had him, Thea. Just yesterday. Or not yesterday, when... So, like, it would have oh. been like almost 10 days ago at this point. No, more like 15 days ago. It's been a while. Been a little while. Not, not two weeks ago, I stuck him with three arrows. Bastard still just wouldn't die. We'll get him. We will get him, but you need to understand that this is not something you have to do or deal with by yourself. 
little sister, when did you go and grow up on me? <laughs> well, I'm very observant. Can I, like, awkwardly walk away from this intimate conversation? <laughs> you no, are not. No. None of you are there. It's, oh, just, good. it's just him and her. No. Okay, so I think you he all, meant out of character, but all the <laughs> all the rest of you all went to go return the money, yeah, that we that we recovered, and yeah. whenever like I walked you up to the to like to the front, got you in the door, and then like you all turned around and I and went like down to the docks to go and just mm-hmm. be all sulky. So, so it's just me and my little sister. Yeah. Okay. So are we at the uh, are we at the badger. So you are well. So currently you're still because this conversation is happening at the same time that you and everyone else is at the the meeting like returning the money and getting the funds and all that stuff um we're gonna shift a little bit a couple oh, of are we are we on nakamori plaza right now whatever the karaki corporation building <coughs> yeah where you are now yes i still haven't watched that hard <laughs> are you serious so i know good. so good dude so good um this christmas bob a month before this day, Ryland was in the largest city on the west coast, Alayakar. Great big city. Uh, where we did our Fast and the Furious stuff. Where you were doing your Fast and Furious stuff, yeah. It was after the, that fact, but yes. As far as the timeline goes, um, you were, of course, looking into finding all sorts of new technology and reading books and acquiring as much knowledge as you can for your patron, which, as it turns out, uh, as far as you understand, anyway, is a... uh, tablet, essentially, uh, in the modern sense of the word. Uh, it has a slightly go- glowing front screen. Um, you can hear, it doesn't have speakers per se, um, but you can communicate with your patron uh, telepathically through the, uh, through, through the tablet. Or just type it in, that works too. Your your patrons, not above text. <laughs> He's down. He's down with the youth. Yeah. He's he is down with the youth. Uh, and in your research, you stumbled upon data that suggested that the Karaki family. And the Crocky Corporation had developed factories for manufacturing, uh, like processed food and stuff like that, canned goods and the like, uh, for extended life of the food and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, this was of interest to your patron, and over the course of the last month, you had sort of made your way south east-ish to a doja. And at this very same moment, find yourself on the docks looking at a very large uh, harbor crane uh, that they use to quickly load merchant ships. And uh, I need Ryland and Kane to give me perception checks, please. 
Actually, let's have everybody do it because the the corporation building has great big windows and you can see see out to the ocean too. Oh damn. Let's do it. That's Ryland's perception. It's kind of annoying that it doesn't differentiate. Yeah. Okay. Right. 22. Nice. Okay. So 18 for Ryland. 22 for Clank. 11 for Quetzal. I need to see an optometrist. My hawk eyes are terrible. <laughs> And a that's okay. For, that's a twenty-one for King. Nice. Okay. Make sure you take a picture. I mean, you can probably guess uh, the difference between a plus three to the roll and a plus eleven. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, let's see. We want to do. Where's oh, that? Yeah. Uh, Krishna. Character sheet. Give me that. Eleven acrobatics, eleven perception, and eleven stealth. Oh, big oops. Gross. Eight for Krishna. That's fair. <clears throat> so, <laughs> everyone except for Quetzal and Krishna. You. And it it's. It doesn't seem off at first, because you see. A handful of ships out in the ocean near uh, at least within visual sight of the Adoja docks but there's one in particular that was not visible at first that has become increasingly more visible as it is uh, moving very quickly toward the docks now, it is typical with ships that are moving in to dock that at some point, reasonably far from the docks, they pull up the sails to begin to slow the ship down. That's not happening here. The sails are full blast. The ship is moving very quickly toward the docks. Uh... You see several ships begin to give commands to move out of the way as they too have noticed this happenstance. And I would say maybe <coughs> about 300 yards or so from the docks. So it's pretty visible at this point. There is a massive spray of water as a tentacle shoots out grabs the main mast of the ship and snaps it like a twig uh, and obviously from that far away you can't really see a lot of the people on the ship but you can imagine that there is fair amounts of mass panic there on. Nah, they're all good. No. Have we upgraded the Sylph with weapon systems yet? No. Alright, guys, we need to invest in torpedoes quick. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Clank, you don't got no torpedoes in your, uh, in your body somewhere? No. We start I mean, pressing. I want to start pressing buttons on him. Didn't we say that he has a like an attachable propeller that he just fits right on his butt to swim? Uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. I don't think we did. <laughs> well, that's I we that we say we that do we now. Did. That's something <laughs> that you could potentially acquire, though. For sure. Sure. Um. <laughs> <laughs> now. Uh, Several of the ships see this happen, of course, and begin to... Most of them begin to try to flee. Some of them actually turn to uh, to begin, like, cannon fire and stuff like that to try to save as much of the ship as they can. Um, 
chain, of course, you see this. Um, and with the earrings that you can that you have to communicate, you can you, you can still communicate with everybody. Um, and of course, everyone sees it except for Quetzal and Krishna. And it is a big tentacle. What would you like to do? I'm I'm going since I'm by myself. I'm just going to get on the little calm system thing and say and tell everybody to get get down to the docks as fast mm. okay everyone over this the earrings possible. hears except for Ryland of course because he doesn't have one yet uh, <clears throat> everyone hears Kane's somewhat it's probably not frantic but it's definitely uh, urgent statement what did everyone do? Uh, I guess uh, we'll get down to the docks as soon as possible. Okay. Ryland, you have uh, a very close view of this. Um, is there anything in particular that you are doing at this moment? Uh, at the moment, I was just kind of there staring out, looking at the tech. And had been talking to Slate mm -hmm. to talk to the AI about what you know just what the place looked like in general. Kind of curious about how cranes work in modern times. Yeah. Uh, gonna have to put him on hold though. <laughs> like, sorry, man, something came up. <laughs> BRB. <laughs> uh, let me call you back. <laughs> Might want to take a few steps back personally. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you like just moving inland, uh, like as far as from from the docks? Yeah, I'd like to have some actual ground underneath me. Okay, that's fair. Uh, so, everyone, you kind of rush to the elevator. Those of you that are in the building. You hit the button and it moves moves pretty quick down you make your way out it probably takes i don't know maybe a minute or so um the ship is getting kind of damaged at this point you can see that the other ships have been they've been doing some work on on this beastie uh, but it is still relentlessly battering the ship um, you're heading all, all toward the docks uh, Kane <coughs> to expedite your movement uh, are you just like parkour down the outside of the building like what's the, um, what's the plan here I'm just going to jump out <coughs> jump out of <coughs> what the window? The building. Are we not in the building? Well, no. You took the elevator down. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that was, that was slow. He we still jumps out a window on the first floor. <laughs> we... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a glass elevator. He just jumps out of it. <laughs> I mean, I guess they could have opened a window for you. But... I'll take the elevator. <laughs> peasants. Like, These that's... peasants. Do you want to not take the elevator and fly out? Nah, it's fine. I'll go with them. Okay. <laughs> We're actually in the elevator going down. They'll need my support. Gotcha. Um, I'm going to try to jump out. Okay. I'll just kind of like, not like really hastily, but like kind of pop up. So I'll give my sister kind of a kiss on the head and tell her I'll be right back. Okay. And then... Just like step off, like off the side of the building. And she says, "Be safe." <laughs> so I need an acrobatic check. That yes. Ooh, okay. He <laughs> rolled a two. <laughs> hey, I have a thirteen, sir. That's pretty good. <laughs> you, you, That's the, pretty the, good. the the roll itself does not matter. What 
the net is the only thing that ca that matters. That's true. Uh -huh. I rolled a 13. Thank you. That is quite true. Uh, let's see. So you... Are you going to be using any shadow points to... Um, like shadow step to avoid any sort of brunt of damage or whatever? No. Okay. It's not, uh, it's not like a lot, I would say. Oh, because, what a, hmm? would I have advantage since it, these are my mold stomping grounds? Hmm, sure. That's better. That means you will take less damage. Much less damage, in fact. Let's see. Uh, two damage. You land a little uh, harder than you would like, um, using external bits of the warehouse to slow your fall as you drop down. Familiar sort of movement. Very, uh, like... reference for this as far as movement I guess I mean arguably Assassin's Creed is a good one um, the early some some of some parts of the old Daredevil movie anyway <laughs> point is you land reasonably oh, that safely out. <laughs> actually, there was no Daredevil movie actually did. so I thought they only made a TV show <laughs> the TV show is much better <laughs> Um, you're basically on the docks at this point and you make it way before anybody else does um, you can see dock workers in a bit of a hysterical panic given the huge beastie very very close to the dock <coughs> And it's there's enough people that it it is a bit of a hindrance to movement at least at first. It doesn't take a huge amount of time for it to mostly clear out, but it's it's a bit of a struggle at first <laughs> to get to get over there for for a better view. Yeah, I can imagine. <clears throat> you are on the docks for a good. Probably a good solid minute before the others reach your location. And they're running. Just like flat out, all movement running. <clears throat> Clank's probably big, so he has more Oh yeah, I'm fucking more, uh, movement. Massive. <clears throat> I okay. flex and that's how I get big. <laughs> Scream like but Goku. You're a, but you're a robot. Hey, Gerald. Yeah. I'm very confused. Can you send Alex a, like an invite to the actual Roll20? He's, he's trying to see if he can get it set up on his uh, iPad. Oh, sure. Yeah. That, that way he'd be able to uh, do his stuff. Let's stuff. see. Oh, where did they go? Nope. Shut it down. Do, 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 do. There it is. <clears throat> Sorry to break everything up. No, we're good. We're, it's fine. We good. I just gotta get to the right thing. Because it is not always weird. Okay, there we are. Okay. Alright, there we are. <coughs> Copy. How am I sending this? What is the best way to do this? Um, we're not on our Discord right now. Facebook? No, oh, we could do that, yeah. That's not a bad idea.
Sorry, this is very, very slow. Cars hour. Not that guy. No worries. Yeah. It, it needs to happen. I mean, you need to be on it. That's why I'm speaking better. New message. <coughs> Sorry. Bless you. Thank you. Oh, side note. Who wants to go to the Mothman Festival? It's going to be like in September. But gotta go. See Mothman, he's going to be there. He shows up every year. Yeah. Yep. Says, what's up? I'm Mothman. And you say, hi, Mothman. <laughs> Why is this not working? Then you like high five in slow motion and run away. Then he flies <laughs> off. Yep. He gives you uh, XP. Bonus XP on, dev on uh, Fallout. Hey, Alex, shoot me a message on Facebook. Okay. <clears throat> do, 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 do. <laughs> I wrote the word butts in case anybody's wondering. Indeed. We weren't now wondering, we but now we know. And now we the battle. Okay. Let's do let's do this. So it's gonna be rude that way. I don't know why it's not letting me send a message on my Facebook. Hmm. 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 Okay. Oof. That should be what you need. Okay, I'll try to make that happen. Send it to you via text. For some reason, it is not letting me send this through Facebook. Let me try just regular. Ugh. Why is my my intro button not working? So scared though. That's weird. Anyway. Okay. All right. That was something. Was something. All right. Now, to get back in. You've all reached the docks. Several ships have uh, pulled back into the docks <coughs> and are frequently frantically unloading people. Some of them are trying to unload some cargo too, but most of them are just trying to get away. Run away! What's the next step? By the way, the ship 
it's slowed down, but it's still, it's probably now about 200 yards away instead of 300. Uh, so it did, it slowed considerably, but it has not yet stopped its movement toward the docks. Would you like to? The ship, your ship, I believe, is currently small and in Clank's uh, sort of interior holding space. No one say the word. Okay. Hey, Gerald. Mm-hmm. Um, the character sheet that you had up for Ryland, did you give that just control to me, or...? I did, but I can add... I can take you off of it and add him directly. That should do it. Can be edited and controlled by me and Ryland. Great. Save. Okay. You can, Ryland, or uh, yeah, Ryland, you can see your character sheet on there, right? Or do I need to show to players again? Working on it. Okay. I start dancing. <laughs> start dancing on the docks? Mm-hmm. Trying to calm See if he went through his money at me. No. No, everyone is too panicked to... Are you, do, are you doing the robot? Throw any money. Uh, of course. Or, the, or are you doing the robot boogie? Oh, man. Mm. Well, since I'm not paying attention, I'm not doing the robot boogie. That's, that's for people who watch me and I say that loud. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, with an with a performance of eight, that's not <laughs> not uh, gonna distract people. You're yep. not gonna distract people from their, their abject terror. <laughs> Damn. All right. Well, let's go where they're running from. Yeah. <clears throat> We're the good guys, well, right? You kind of are already, as far as you can go at this very moment, because any further, and you're in the water. Some of you can fly. I know that Quetzal can fly. Quetzal. I don't, Very I don't believe really? anyone else can. How can he fly? Is it because he's a bird? Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course. Exactly why. <laughs> why wouldn't he? Uh, Ryland, you see... Oh. Because you're still kind of borderline in shock with kind of everything that's happening all at once. But you do notice a group of very eclectic looking people, clearly some sort of group of adventurers, um, moving in the opposite direction of everyone else, heading toward the danger. Did I see the dancing? You did see the dancing, yes. I'm going to go and say nice to that. Okay. Aww. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you're. I you're, boogie. You're like. I boogie. <laughs> you're, you're on one of the docks to the left, so to speak, of of the one that they're on. So y you can definitely see each other. Okay. Uh, so I see them run up, and I yeah. see a boat being attacked by tentacles. You do. I think I've seen this cartoon. <laughs> Um, you see, by the way, a human in black leather covered oh in daggers and the like. Uh, clearly a stealth-based person. Um, you see a creature that you have only seen a handful of times, because they're pretty rare, even in... They're relatively rare, anyway. Uh, even in the big cities, but you did not really expect to see one here, and that is to say an artifice 
uh, sort of humanoid shaped robot person. Uh, Me. Self aware and currently in its enlarged its enlarged state. Um, you do know that they can increase and decrease their size more or less at will. Hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. There is that. an avian who is dressed as a chef uh, with, you know, chef clothes and chef hat and everything. Bird person? Bird person, yes. Um, he is... What kind of avian are you, by the way? Uh, we don't like the, we don't like the term bird person. Right, that's our word. <laughs> but yes, I'm a hawk. <laughs> You're a hawk, okay. <laughs> yeah, only, only flight supremacists can be bird person. Oh, okay. Did you say flight supremacist? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's good. we went to, we went to prison a while back for like a day. Mm -hmm. I joined I joined the I joined the avian brotherhood. It was like a it was like a week. In prison, yeah. He joined the uh, the Avian Brotherhood, and they were all about flight power, and uh, you know, it was <laughs> yeah. Welcome, by the way. It was <laughs> yeah. It was it was something else for sure. I shanked someone. <laughs> we threw the work in an elevator shaft and left. Okay. Uh, but she had it coming. Good times. Yeah, good good crazy times. She. Yeah, she's a okay. dwarf lady. Mm hmm. Okay. No, we're good. Threw her straight down an elevator shaft, left her for dead. Should have thrown out a window with the death and straight at her. <laughs> she's underground. They didn't have windows. What is your next plan? So, we clearly see that we're going to. I see that they're going to fight this thing, I assume, right? You can assume yeah that's a and i can i can mildly assume they might be the good guy uh yes <laughs> yeah. did, just you just, did you just hear the story i told you yeah they let me shank in someone in prison they don't yeah. appear <laughs> to be sometimes shanks happen dude e e explicitly evil per se okay there we go um the uh, the human in the 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 black leathers is a little broody but uh, you can't really get much by way of the artifice because it doesn't actually have a face. It's just like a glowing rune on its face plate. Okay, we're good. Uh, yeah, but they seem <laughs> they seem. Okay. So I just look at people. I now right. I have a better picture of it. Now I'm just like blankly looking at people and I'm talking to them. <laughs> well, am I am I on the same dock as them? Like in the same area? You're in the same area. The same but you're area. not quite on the same dock. They are like one dock over from you, but you can see across the the. It's like a 25, 30 foot gap between you and okay, them. Okay, like so I could step over and offer assistance. Yeah, you could like walk around. To, to well, let's in. let's do that. Okay, I suppose um, the ship is still moving forward. Uh, it's pretty close to like maybe a, like the sort of outer range of Elders Blast that you have uh, before it starts to kind of be pulled back away from the docks. But we'll get to that in just a second. Um, you sort of maneuver around the dock to where they are. And everyone, you see a human in studded leather holding what appears to be a some sort of glowing slightly glowing on one side uh, it actually I guess to you guys it would just look like a, a sheet of metal that is for some reason glowing on one side because you can't really like it's not like it has anything on the other side that would he's got a rock uh, yeah. Does, does he look like a good guy? Does Ryland look like a good guy? Yeah, he just looks really like honestly tired. Uh, oh man, under his eyes, he doesn't come off as like an aggressive bad dude. 
Okay. He looks sleepy. And you like guys sleepy. Yeah. All right. Like judging books by their cover and everything over here. Oh yeah, I'm instantly gonna judge. Like I, <laughs> I look at him, but I'm like, he did say nice dancing. I'm like, that guy has to be good. Yeah. <laughs> so you. Uh, he he approaches all of you. Yeah, we beckon him over. Okay, they they beckon Ryland over. I was beckoned. <laughs> I'm like, thank you for beck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I forgot. There's also a gold dragonborn who is very obviously a paladin. Like, full plate, shield, big That's ass fair. sword, and everything. Like, very big obviously a paladin. <clears throat> okay. That's the other guy who's not here yet. That's Krishna. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to walk over and uh, start the old razzle-dazzle, I suppose. Uh, okay. Looks like you guys uh, might need a hand. Stand back, citizen. We've got this under control. <laughs> Corey, it's hard to take you seriously while you're playing Mario. I'm not being serious. <laughs> All right. <laughs> is that what Hector, uh, is that what Kane says? No. No, I'm just. Oh, okay. He's just sitting behind, beside me being a shit. But... Gotcha. Like, like I do. Okay. That is going to be our Rollins responses. Looks like you guys can need a hand. Yeah, yeah. we're, we're going to, I think we're going to kill that thing and I'll point out the tentacle monster. Neat, calamari. Yeah, you know. I I'll guess. come up with a new recipe. <laughs> there you go. How do you start this process? What <clears throat> do you do? Because it's going to take you. It, it it would take two minutes for the ship to return to its normal full size for you to get in it and actually go. How far out is the boat that's or the where the tentacle thing is? Um, we'll say at this very moment it's about 120 feet away. Okay. Uh, so anyone with like a bow, for example, could definitely reach it. Ayo. Um, anyone with like Eldritch Blast, I I, I would say would just just barely be able to, to reach it. And it's attacking a boat? Yeah. The boat is, uh, at this point, the boat's pretty heavily damaged. It's not yet to the point of sinking, but it has taken some pretty solid hits. Um, several of the crew have been grabbed and thrown into the water. And others are, of course, on the like deck of the ship, uh, hacking away at this tentacle that's just like <gasps> nonchalantly tearing it up. So, so are you guys gonna like, out of character? Are you guys gonna hack the ship? Is that what we're doing? I, I'm assuming that you guys have a magic ship that can pull it out on itself. I'm just ballparking here. Yeah. Cool. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, it can fly and sail and go in the water. Oh, well, in that case, can I cast speak with animals? You can. And talk to the tentacle monster? You can try, sure. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> you can do that at will, can can't you? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. can. So Ask you cast, him if he fears death. You cast speak with animals, and um, you go to speak to this beastie um, and it does not it either does not understand you or just re or just doesn't respond at all uh, it's one of those does so it's does, just not talking then huh yeah does does speak with animals let you like know that the creature like when you talk to them know that they're not 
a beast or are a beast. Because speak with animals speak only, with only lets you speak with the beast subtype of creature. Yeah, I mean, if, if I don't hear anything or it can't hear me, I'm clearly not a beast. Yeah. You get that yeah. impression. That cool. Is, it's Good not enough. A beast. Yeah. All right. Kill it with fire. So, just to be sure, so is the ship. The ship's just being attacked right now. Like, they're. We don't need to, like, attack them. Do we? Attack the. The, the ship. ship? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 The, right. The ship is being attacked by okay, this yeah. tentacled creature. That's what I thought. And so far, you've only seen a singular tentacle. I think I'd be like that. <laughs> what that means, you don't. I mean, there could be more. There could be just the one. You don't really know at this point. It's just a really long snack. <laughs> the slithery snack. Slithery snack. Anyway, only a handful of you can reach this thing at this moment. So, uh, if you want, we can get some initiative counts here. Actually, hang on. You found a way to roll? Huh? What you say? Did you find a way to roll it? There, there's a way for you to roll roll our initiatives. Oh. I have not yet. Hang on. I mean, I have not yet uh, seen that. I know that I can add your initiatives and things, but like as far as a turn order. All right. I'm back upstairs I was making some foods all right no worries where is that turn order oh there it is that is not what I want that can go And he just called my daughter Mrs. Poopy. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Got her. Item, will me roll item to this. She's not wrong. <laughs> okay. Four. Control U to quickly add groups. Yeah, you just. I, mean, I don't know how it is. But... Yeah, I was just tapping on the uh, Neat. next word. All right, let's see. There you go. Magic. Kane <laughs> is at 23, <laughs> of course. Quetzal is at 20. Dang, you're only 19. That's awesome. Yeah. Hopefully that's a... He says good of, rolls now, right? Sign of things doesn't. to come. Raylan has 13. Clank has 18. And that's a... Krishna's is... Oh, not there. Krishna. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. Yeah, we have to type these in again.
good. Almost ready. Hang on. I gotta get all this. So I realize if you once you open col uh, coleslaw and you smell it, it smells bad when you first open it. But afterwards, it's fine. Cause, you know, it's still good. But man. Not smell nice when you first open it. You're really just eating coleslaw? Yeah, son. I'm just sitting here eating a fucking jar full of coleslaw. Mmm. <laughs> Here's a big ass spoon. I'm just rubbing it on my face. Ass we were at uh, we were at Pipestone one time. <laughs> and we were all drinking like really drunk, and then Rainer just took a tub of coleslaw and was just eating it. Oh <laughs> God. <laughs> Yeah. Slow. <laughs> I can see Raider right doing that. That's hilarious. Uh, Alright. Can everyone see? Kind of what's going on. Now, your character locations are not precisely where they are at this moment. Are these ballistas actually here? Uh, uh yes. For the moment, on on the ship that's being attacked, it's right in the uh, get around this a bit. <clears throat> shoot the, tent the tentacle I see, I guess. Okay. Not much else I can do. <laughs> uh, there's no sneak attack or anything. Uh, no. Let's see. Um, I'm going to try to... Oh. I don't know. I'm going to try to uh, sharpshoot her hit it okay great <laughs> nice dude good first roll good first roll crit get that crit hell yeah dude all right see there's no sneak attack to that though right uh they're on the docks i'm trying to think if that would apply technically there are allies within five feet of it attacking it. Uh, Wait, why did that do that? Then yes. Nope. Rest. I would I I would say yes that you would get sneak attack damage. Did you just roll two twenties? Yes, he did. Yep. In a row. I mean, it was the on the wrong thing, but. Nice. Well done. So. Uh, my, the characters on my screen are just at the bottom of the map, not on the boat at all. Correct. Right. You're not on the boat. You're on the docks right now. Oh, I see. You're still 120 feet out, and the ship is being pulled away. Do I have that all right? So, let's see. I mean, that works out distance-wise, but... Oh, yeah, that's right. It is a plus 10 to... Let's, let me do this, actually. Damage. This might be a little bit easier to uh, kind of get. So, like, it'll be kind of here more than in the back because the ship almost gets the dock. And you can see a handful of people still. You're, you're further away than your icons are, just so you know. Uh, not by a lot, I guess, but enough. 
So that is, let me make sure that I'm seeing this correctly. Plus 11 to your modifier, very nice. Oh, right, because of the... Yeah, plus the, plus the 10. Plus the 46. And they did it twice because it's a crit. Okay, so Wait. what is your... Why do I have... Hold on, I'm trying to figure out what the, the that plus 2 is. That is the second roll. Oh, that's right. If I that's if I attack, wait. Yeah. So twice. It's crit. Yeah. So technically, you would it would be one d eight rolled twice. So that's the second one. But that for us. Oh, I see. Of, I see. Because of the way that we do critical damage. Uh, right. It, maximum, it was trying to do it, but yeah, by the rules. So we have to kind of do our own little. So we just maths here. take the the first numbers. Yes, and then plus the maximum. So that's 34. No, sorry, 33 plus 24 and a D8. And then plus 24 and 8 is 32. 32. So 65 damage. Dang, dude. The one arrow. Holy crap. Start the party off. I've had plenty of time to sit and wait and line up my shot while the, these guys were catching up. That's fair. So, a, an arrow made of shadow stuff shoots out, and when it hits the tentacle, the place that he, he hits was where it had already taken some significant damage from the crew. And there's a, uh, not a flash per se, but there's like a, a dimming as the strike absorbs some of the light around it. And the, that section of, of that tentacle is severed. Jeez. Yeah. You did 65 damage in one hit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy is out um, but as soon as you take right. it down <laughs> two more take its place why are you going to be like that work? hail hydra why, why, why are you going to be like that man No. I mean, can we just not? As I said, <laughs> Hail Hydra. Let's just so, leave. About giving assistance. Um. Nah. <laughs> like, oh, no, no, never mind. Right, Wait. I gotta think. Um. Please, We're about a two twenties. Mm -hmm. We're about 100 and 120 feet away, you said? Yes. <clears throat> mm. How can I see my movement? Where is that at? Your movement. Oh, it's speed. I see it. Yes, okay. your speed. Um, I think your speed all right, I when you're big. Yeah, it goes to, I think, 40. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah, as a reminder, Clank, you do not have to breathe in case that ever becomes relevant. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I just, I guess I move, I double move 80 feet. You're going into the water? No, might as well. Well, no, wait, no. Hey, hell no, wait. There's something down there. Um. <laughs> To is there the water? any any way to let's see? Hmm. I could shrink and jump on. Um. Shit, Quetzal. Okay. I will do that. I will shrink and jump on Quetzal, on, on like his shoulder. Okay. That's fine. Then that will allow you to move with him when he flies. <clears throat> Wait a second. How did my initiative get set to 13? 
Is it not 13? It was 20. You, you rolled a 20. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's read the pooch on that one. i sorry. Bob, <laughs> we'll say that you held your action. So yeah, we can, I can get out to Clank. It's fine. Okay. Uh, let's rearrange that a bit. Oh, nope. No, 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 no. Be nice. Be friendly. Okay. Change your stunt. We'll say that Quest, quest will go now. So, uh, hang on, R real, really quick though, uh, Clank, you okay? So you used your action to shrink down to your normal size because you were large, right? Yes, he was large. Okay, so he's back down to his like norm size, which is his his typical size. Uh, Climb on back, we'll be off. And, and he climbs on back, and then you you I guess fly. Yep, we'll fly. All right. And so, how, about how far am I from? So them? at this point, you're um, you could have a double move because your fly speed is sixty, right? Yeah, but can I still like can I oh, move no. once and It'll be in range? Move. Within range of what? Like a range attack. Uh, what's the uh, range? Okay. Uh, my range is twenty to sixty. I don't know how that works. Uh, Twenty five, sixty. Whatever that means. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't think you would. No, because your movement would get you. That you can determine. Essentially, like right here, uh, pretty close. Fire or ice damage with the magic. Force clank is behind you. We'll say that that. That, that can get you. Because, you know, it can make like a hot here. Either molten lava or ice cold. So. Oh, I guess it would reach, huh? Chef. Sure. Yes. Why not? All right. Now that's the farther range increment. So unless you have uh, sharpshooter, then you will be at disadvantage on your attack roll. That's fine. Are you are you doing are you throwing hot pocket? Sure am. Nice. Hot um, pocket. But I will also reckless attack, which will cancel out the disadvantage Ooh, okay. i forgot that he was a barbarian yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i am <laughs> barbarian chef oh, I, you can't not play a barbarian like i can't not play a rogue yeah by the mm. way um uh, bob i will be at some point in the relatively near future reworking the arcane chef so i'll okay I'll, you know, I'm probably going to be moving the rage up too early yeah. So maybe you can stay as the chef. So okay. We'll see how that plays out. Anyway. So it's 22 hit? Yes. Yes, it does. All right. How do I roll damage? <laughs> uh, I see it. I see the damage. I don't know how to roll it. Click that. What does that do? Okay, okay. Where is the if you touch? click, if you click the name of the attack on on the roll, that's what I did. No, like not in the character sheet on the. Uh... Oh. Yeah. Then it, then it rolls your damage. Hey. Yeah. Okay. So DC. Zero. Not blinded. That doesn't make sense. I have to make a uh, dexterity <coughs> saving throw. Okay. Versus a DC 15 dexterity saving throw. All right. Let's see. I can do that. I mean, the, the tentacle doesn't really have eyes, so it can't be blinded anyway. I'm pretty sure it just turns into me being blinded anyway. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to say for purposes of this, though, that this particular um, entity that you're attacking is immune to being blinded. Okay. Um, but it will take 16 damage, which is uh, not really bad. Are you attacking the left or the right one? Left. Okay. Very good. Eight. All right. 
And that was your movement, your action, uh, your bonus action. Do you have anything that you can do as a bonus action at this point? Fly, but that was it. Okay. Oh, right. That's what you just fly for. Right, right, right. Okay. Ryland. Me? Yes. Okay. I have many questions. Okay. About what I want to do. All right. Last big one's dead. Um. So. The range based on the spell shatter is it guaranteed to be only sixty? Because I can't physically push it any farther. Or I can't push it farther accurately. Sixty is the maximum range. Okay. Shatter. Yes. That actually takes care of my question, at least for the. And I have no other major questions until later at a possible previously mentioned time. Okay. All right. Uh, probably need to go ahead and just launch Eldritch Blast at it. Okay. Let me... You started on a wizard on the perfect level, too. Oh, my God. Natural 20. Goodness gracious. Okay. You got Is that it. enough? Yes, that's enough. Neat. You guys in your natural 20s. I don't hey. know how to roll damage on this particular thing. I'm using an iPad. Uh, oh, gotcha. Well, I will take care of that for you. Thanks. Boop. All right. So seven plus 10. 17. Okay. Hey, Ign Bab. Ignore the secondary roll. Uh, that's not bad at all. Are you attacking the same one that got hit with a hot pocket? Yeah. Okay. Great. Hot pocket. <laughs> hot pocket. Okay. Good, good, good. The damage. Let's do it. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Uh, Krishna can't really do anything, I don't think. Because uh, Krishna is very much a melee character. <laughs> he has javelins. Yeah, but javelins so, have a maximum range, I think, yeah. of 60 feet. I thought it was 120. Yeah, whatever was first. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't yeah. think so. That's a hell of a far throw for a javelin. It's going to be a 10. Have you seen the Olympics, bitch? Yeah. Uh, but 120 feet with a javelin? Damn. Accurately? Yeah, that's that's the issue. I it mean, is thirty to one twenty. Wow. Mean, have you seen Have you seen a baseball player from right field throw a, throw a ball to catcher? Yeah, yeah, but it rolls. Not always. They'll throw it straight in the air sometimes. That's true. All right, he's gonna chuck a javelin then. <laughs> he doesn't Amazing. have sharpshooter, so it's gonna be at disadvantage. That's a 19, which is pretty good. And then one more for the disadvantage. Let's see, let's see. How does this go? Boom. And it, wow. Uh. <laughs> so it's a 19 or a 20. So that's going to hit. Roll that one because it's just straight damage. Goodness gracious, max damage. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> nice. You can blame roll 20. Yeah, roll 20 is like kicking my butt here. Oh, I'm excited. Goodness gracious. This thing is not having a good time, I can assure you. <laughs> uh, all I wanted to do was just attack this... Uh this ship and all of a sudden it's like getting all kinds of ouchies from the docks yeah really uh, so on its turn it's going to pull a little bit away probably like 15 or so feet away and it's going to hit this here Very sneaky, very sneaky. 
Let's see what it's to hit is on the ship. Yeah, okay. Cool. That's definitely going to hit. I don't like that plus 17. Yeah, you probably shouldn't. Now its tentacles are going to do... It's going to hit with one tentacle for now. And the other one's going to start... And this is Siege. It's a Siege monster. You know what that means? Maybe you don't. I don't know. It does double <laughs> damage to buildings and other things like that. Oh. Yeah. Players? No. Players are not buildings. I don't know. I'm built <laughs> like one. Get pretty big. I ain't growing <laughs> size. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay. It's going to be 40 damage to the ship. Which is a pretty, pretty gnarly bit of damage. Whack. Uh, basically tears a huge gash in the front of the ship. And the ship is starting at this point to take on water. Not in the good, fun way that ships can take on water. Okay. Kane. Well, we'll try to do a little bit of the same. Okay. There are still a few. There aren't as many, of course. But there are a few individuals still on the ship trying to hack away at this tentacle, so you do at this point still get sneak attack damage. Yay! You're attacking the tentacle that just hit the ship, or the one that's approaching uh, Quetzal? How far is the is it to the ship again? At this point, it's about 140 feet, because it pulled back a little bit. Okay. Away from the docks. Okay. Not that that's... I mean, you're still... With your bow, you're still well within range. Yeah. Uh, and because you have sharpshooter, you ignore the distance disadvantage anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, what the heck. We'll, we'll do some, some more of the same. Okay. 19 hits. Faux show. None of you have missed once, by the way, so far. <laughs> it's great. So we are good yeah, professional we're adventurers. So good. This is our job. Well, that's fair. I just showed up. Go ahead and roll your damage. Wow. Did you oh, roll? Jesus. Damn. 24. That's... Those are really good rolls. Oh, because you did it sharpshooter. Right. I was like, you rolled max damage almost on your... I did roll max on the. I did roll max on the actual arrow damage, and then your sneak attack was still also average, really good, but very good. Goodness, it's thirty. Now, which one are you shooting? Um, I didn't specify, so I'll let you determine which. Okay. Uh, to your discretion. The one that hit the ship is pretty damaged. Uh, technically speaking, the one that's heading toward them is still undamaged. So I, I will leave it to you, whatever you want to do. Okay, I'll aim for the damaged one. Okay. Try to, try to knock it out. Uh, 
that's why I'm not doing it. I'm shaking. You guys did 108 damage. It's the first turn. Ridiculous. Nice. Um, this shot is going to take out this one too. You just protecting the the ships like a like a madman. Wait, can I not? There it is. Okay, that was weird. That's me. All right, let's do it. Uh, do it. He's dead. Go. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Quetzal. You Alrighty. are now, as of right now, you are about 80 feet. Because you were 120 feet away. You cast fly and you flew 60 feet, which is the maximum of your fly speed. So you can move. You're about, you're about 80 feet away from we'll say like the front of the ship so you can get up on the map what kind of move do these guys like away because they're not necessarily right where they are there uh, but you can actually make it to about where you are on the map in relation to the ship uh we'll do that okay and I will throw another hot pocket okay. at the one in front of me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reckless again, which will give me advantage. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Hot pocket. Let's see. Garbage. Garbage indeed. <laughs> Neither of those rolls would have been a hit. So um, that is a miss. It sort of splashes into the water. Nice. Sploosh. Whoopsies. Um, that was your movement and your action. Uh, That's all I have. Okay. <coughs> Clank. And uh, how close are we now, uh, Quetzal? <laughs> you are on the map, like, one-to-one -one ratio at this point. So, like, all right, perfect. That's where you are, yeah. I... I'm going to roll on one of my charts. Okay. It will be yes. Will of the Wild. Yes. Okay. And I'm gonna, flumps. I, <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. You so always think, roll so bad on these tables. I don't, I, I I don't know. get it. But Never give you know, up. Proceed. Do it. Do it. All right. I think I got it set up as a die. Did I roll a d10? It did. Aha. Four. Okay. Four. Four is... Swear to God. Four is I teleport up to sixty feet to a un unoccupied space mm. of my choice. I can see. Nice. Fantastic. So you're gonna get on the ship. Yeah, I get on the ship. That's I'm gonna teleport. Awesome. Now I'm twelve, twelve inches tall. I'm gonna teleport like right. No, you're sure still. No, you're normal height. Tall. I'm normal. Yeah, because you so were large, if you recall. I do sixty, so I'll be right there. Okay. Great. You are um you, you sort of land amongst uh some nasty severed tentacle parts. Ooh. Yeah. Because uh, that's that's that, that's about where uh and by the way, where you land, um there's a huge kind of gash in in the ship right behind you. Um we'll say Uh, so can I see people around me as well? Right here. Huh? 
There, there's people all around us on the ship, right? There are some, yeah. Yeah. All right. Bonus kinda, action. Jack. Tell them. Start telling them. I'm like, start scooping. Start scooping. Oh. They, I mean, you can't. There's too much water coming in. Uh oh. You can scoop a little, but. I don't. Yeah. Without, well. like. Get real big and then just seal the hole with your body. <laughs> Without some sort of magic, uh, the odds are it's probably going to sink very quickly. Uh, but you can. There are several people that you could potentially help, like, survive if you can chase this thing away somehow or kill it outright. One way or the other. But. All right. There are a handful of people. They are very, uh, they're pleased to see you, but they are quite hysterical at this point. I started getting the robot. I'm like, calm down, guys. Mm. <laughs> okay. Give me a performance check. <laughs> mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. They're, they're like, it's, this is not the time. It's not the time for that. And I want it to sound like I'm out of breath, even <laughs> yeah. though I don't have any breath. I just want to be like grunting. <laughs> ah, ah, uh, uh. <laughs> beep, boop. Beep, 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 boop. That's very funny. Very, very funny. Ryland. Wait, actually, real quick. Uh, Plank, did you. So that was your action. Do you want to move? Oh, I guess I could move, huh? Somewhere? You can. I mean, that's up to you. There um, is... Uh... I do want to get up here. Like, right there. Okay. There are two uh, reasonably still functional ballista on either side that you can kind of oh. see there. They're not in great shape, but they are at least functional enough that you could fire... You could probably fire one off before it. You probably wouldn't have time to like reload it because it's kind of. Like, I will, it's I will remember that because I, I think I'm now close enough to run to it and arm it. And shoot it yeah. So, well, it's armed. You just would shoot it, but yes. All right, Ryland. All right, so you have launched yourself out there. Is that right? So me. Yeah. I teleported up okay, there. Okay, teleported out there. Cool. Yeah. Well, I hope this goes well. Um, gas and pra are any of the tentacles I can see are they damaged again? There are um, some of the ones that you see have have been damaged previously from like. I meant uh, from us. From you, no. Okay. Uh, then I'll just aim at the nearest one to me and launch another couple of just blasts. Okay. That's right, you get two, don't you? Yeah, we forgot that last time. We did. Ow. Goodness gracious. Okay, that's a hit. For sure. And that is not a hit. I figured out how to do damage. I think. No, it did that. What I'm very confused. I you don't rolled know. you rolled it twice because because you have two attacks, right? Oh, okay. It get shoots two blasts. Um, one of the blasts hit, and the uh, other one. Okay, evades, I should tap yeah. it. you click the ones. Cool. Seven force damage. Okay. Great. And that's the closest one to the dot. Yeah. Which would be this one here. Okay. Good. Good. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, you're still on the dock. Wunderbar. Did you want to move at all? Or do you have a bonus I mean, action that you can do? Get closer. Unless there's a way to get closer, I'm kind of SOL on this one. 
the only yeah. attacks I can make would now kill. There is. <laughs> there are a couple of ships on the docks that stick out a little bit further <clears throat> than the docks, but that would be the the only thing, unless you actually like manage to corral a group of people to actually get the ship out there. Yeah, I doubt that's gonna happen. <clears throat> I mean, I'll guess if I can move as close as possible at this point, okay. be great. So you start heading that, that you know, way. Drowning. Gotcha. <laughs> right. Right. I have a feeling I know what we're fighting, so I don't really want to deal with that in the water. Yeah. Krishna is next. Looks menacingly. He's going to try one more time before this thing's fully out of the range to do a javelin. Because he doesn't have really much else by way of options. So we're going to do one, two, I just got to do it here. Hmm? Okay. I didn't realize that actually would have took it twice. Done. All right. What does that do? It, 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 it takes up. It hits. Nice. Okay. Even with disadvantage, it hits. And... Minimum damage this time. Okay. Nice. All right. Now... Tentacles turn. Do, 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 do. Clank. Must be sleep. Yes. What is your armor class? My what? Your armor class. My. There's no. They can't see me. There's no way. Yes, they can see you. I. I'm at seventeen. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, this is, pray I roll a one, then. Okay. One. Ready? Yeah. Not a one. Not a one. I wasn't listening, Gerald. Try again. Okay. Now, <laughs> it's going to <clears throat> grab you. And it's going to deal some damage. Let's see how much damage it is. Do, 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 do. Which one is doing that? Oh, right. I should move your character to be grappled over here. Boop. Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, let's see. What kind of icon can I use for that? Grappled. My character sheet, right? Huh? Is there a, an effect thing? Oh, well, oh, there's not vanity. No, I can just add, like, a little symbols to your oh we'll that's use, how you do it yeah we'll use that one that'll be fine oh not that one you're not dead yet all right let's see boom 20 damage 20 bludgeoning damage to be precise ouch <clears throat> all right and the other one is going to let's see here this one's going to attack the ship so we got a nice lovely bit of damage here we'll just sort of draw a line just like smashes into the top Some real tasty damages here. Uh oh. Not, not in the good way. Okay. <coughs> Quetzal. No. Now, by the way, Clank, no. while you are grappled, you are restrained, which 
only means that your movement speed is zero and that any attacks you do against anything really uh, are made at disadvantage. I'm going to flex and break out of here. No worries. You can roll to escape on your turn as your action. Yes. Or if some of these other folks can do sufficient damage to the tentacle, it can kill the tentacle, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Ooh, hmm. it's so close. But it's not quite the crit. Good lord. Um, I'm assuming that a 36 hits your armor class. No. Quetzal. Nope. Not Quetzal either. Uh, yeah, it sure does. <laughs> All right. Uh, he has advantage against me, too. Oh, fun. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being fair. Okay. How many hit points do you have? 84. Hmm. Did you just kill us? I don't Did think you kill so. us? Just now? Let's try to kill him. I don't think so, but we'll see. I'm done. Take 42 points of bludgeoning damage, and you were grappled. That's not so bad. Yeah. And rest you're restrained and all that fun stuff that goes along with being grappled. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Kane. All right. Also, I just realized that I forgot that I have two attacks per round. Well, Did stop I doing that. I mean, one attack's been working out pretty well, but... It has. That's true. Well, all right. Well, I'm going to continue to do my thing from the docks and just keep yeah. hailing arrows at it, sharpshooter style. Okay. Sounds like a plan. You're attacking the closest one? Yeah. Nope. Sharp, that's a miss. Uh, that's... Two misses. Two misses. Yes. Plus six... Rolling a six and a four. That'll do it. All right. I need, I need to go AFK just for a minute. Help put my daughter to bed. Okay. So wait, am I, if am it, I in this thing? If my turn cynical? comes up again, yes. just keep doing the same thing. You have been grabbed. Okay. okay. Help. I don't know why we got out here. Help. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the plan. <laughs> So I have a question. We weren't supposed to... uh, because uh, Corey's out for a moment, do you want to go ahead and take a break? We can. We are at essentially the top of the round. Uh, it's been an hour and 45 minutes or so. Uh, okay. So that's fine with me. Yeah, break time. And we'll continue with the next bit. All right, we'll be right back. Later.